A Kenyan government now says that voluntary early retirement is a solution to the bloated public wage bill. The chair of the Public Service Commission, Professor Margaret Cobia, says the government will launch a capacity assessment and rational rationalization exercise targeting 26,000 civil servants. The spotlight over the country's ballooning wage bill shone brightly after the head of state himself admitted to the country that the problem was such a menace that it deprived the government of sufficient funds to pay striking teachers. Kenya shillings, 568 billion, went to pay our wages, meaning that 1.5% of our population consumed 52% of all taxes raised. To access this. And the Public Service well, Commission has sorry. now come out to say that the process of employee auditing is being enhanced to have about 26,000 employees asked through a voluntary early retirement application program. In the public service, people work under certain terms and conditions of service. Therefore, we cannot really separate the people without taking the due process. The exercise the commission believes is a step towards the right direction in solving the bloated wage bill issue. But the chair of the Public Service Commission insists that no one will be shown the door forcefully. I want to assure all the public servants that the retrenchment is not in the mind of Public Service Commission. And in fact, I see an opportunity where we will need now to hire more in a strategic manner. This directive comes just three weeks after Treasury CS Henry Rotich and Central Bank Governor Patrick Joroge wrote to the IMF over the wage bill issue. In the letter, they both offer government's commitment in ensuring that staff rationalization is enhanced to solve the problem. The letter dated 31st August states, among other things, that the freeze on hiring new staff will continue except for exceptional services such as security, health and education. Kenya's total wage bill, including ministries, commissions, and independent constitutional offices, is estimated at 568 billion shillings, which translates to 11% of the gross domestic product, compared to the global best practice of 7%. Members of the civil service targeted for the acts are mostly seen as those who were absorbed into the public service from the municipal councils when the devolved system of government came into play. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.